Hello everyone! For work I will use 4.5mm cachet hook and a ball of yarn. All information about the tools could be found in the description of this video tutorial. In this video you will see how to crochet unusual motif made in freeform technique and 3D crochet. Let's crochet motif in freeform technique. I will begin from the foundation ring. Make chain of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Work into the ring. Make 6 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well done. I'm going to work in spiral direction. I'm going to work with back loops only. Insert the hook into the back loop. Make the first single crochet. Two into the same back loop. I mark the first single crochet. Make two single crochet into the each back loop. Like this. Keep working this way till the stitch marker. I continue working on my motif. You can check yourself. I have 12 single crochet and now remove the stitch marker. I continue working. Then make half double crochet into the each back loop. I'm making two half double crochet into the each back loop. One and two. I mark the first half double crochet. I continue working. Two half double crochet one and two. Work with the next back loop one and two. Keep working this way till the stitch marker. Once I have done all my stitches till the stitch marker, so this is the base for the next stitches. Remove the stitch marker, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the back loop. Make half double crochet. I mark this stitch. Then two half double crochet into the next back loop. Make half double crochet into the next back loop. And two half double crochet into the next back loop. One half double crochet and two half double crochet. Keep working this way till the stitch marker. I remove the stitch marker. Continue working on my motif. Insert the hook into the back loop make half double crochet continue make a chain i'm going to work with single crochet in the reverse direction let's crochet them i did a chain insert the hook into the three loops and make single crochet work in spiral direction here what i have so keep working in this way till this point then i will show you how to crochet the next round i continue working with single crochet and three loops i put my work like this 
and make single crochet into each loop. I am working with front loops or free loops. Like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this motif. Once I have done all my single crochet stitches, as I did before, you can stop at any stage of this project. You can finish this spiral motif and put it like a decoration or it could be a brush but in this case you should use cotton yarn you can use variegated yarn if you like it but i'm using one color of yarn i'm going to work with reverse single crochet for this make a chain pull it and make single crochet into the previous stitch like this insert the hook into the previous stitch make single crochet insert the hook into the previous stitch make reverse single crochet so you should crochet in spiral direction like this so keep working this way till the end of this round then i will show you what i will crochet the next once i have done my rounds of reverse single crochet stitches so i am making one more reverse single crochet in this case this is my chain stitch and make reverse single crochet like this let's stop and look what i have done you can cut off the yarn and it could be like a separate motif my beautiful and simple spiral 3d motif is ready you can crochet like this one and crochet the spiral motif and join them together in large piece of work like this it depends on your project what would you like to get and i remind you please use your favorite tools to create colorful and unique project add some beads if you like you can make a composition and i continue working on my scramble motif continue i'm going to work with bullion block stitches make yarn over the hook my bullion block stitch base it on double crochet insert the hook into the stitch i insert the hook into the two loops like this make double crochet and make strings for bull and block stitch make five of them one two three four five insert the hook into the same two loops that came out of stitch then yarn over pull through and make a chain yarn over the hook let's make one more i skip the first stitch insert the hook into the next two loops I insert the hook into two loops make double crochet and five strings one two three four five insert the hook into two loops 
pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, make a chain. The second boolean block stitch is ready. Yarn over the hook. I skip. I insert the hook into the next two loops and make double crochet. Yarn over, pull up loop one, two, three, four, five. Then pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through, make a chain. I've got three. I still continue working on my scramble. Then make chain of three for the chain space. One, two, three chains, turn the work. Insert the hook between stitches and make single crochet. In total, it should be six side chain spaces. I'm done the first one. Let's crochet one, two, three chains and single crochet two, one, two, three. This is the third one. One, two, three. And work with half double crochet stitches. I skip one, two, insert the hook into two loops and make single crochet. This is the fourth one. One, two, three. Fifth one. I skip two st stitches and work with two loops in the third one. One, two, three. And single crochet into the third. Two loops. My chain spaces are ready. Let's make the trim for them. Chain and turn the work. So I will work in one way. Make single crochet. Work into the chain space. Make a chain. Two double crochet. One. Two. Then chain of three for the pico and work with a slip stitch into two loops of the double crochet. My pico is ready. Make two double crochet one, two chain and single crochet. Work into the next chain space, make single crochet one chain. And I am crocheting faster. Make two double crochet one, two. Then chain of three for the pico and work with a slip stitch into two loops of the double crochet. Two double crochet one, two, chain, and single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain space and so on. So, so keep working this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you what I'm going to work on. Once I have done all my petals, you can stop at this point if you want. It is very beautiful and simple in the same time. You just need to know different toll stitches and reverse single crochet trim. This crumble made in 3D crochet and freeform technique. And I continue working on my scramble. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the first stitch. Insert the hook into two loops. Make half double crochet. Make strings around this half double crochet. Make three strings. One, two, three. Yarn over, pull through. Make a chain. Continue. Yarn over the hook. 
I skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next two loops, insert the hook into two loops, make half double crochet. Make a chain yarn over the hook and half double crochet into the stitch of the previous round. Insert the hook into two loops. Make a chain yarn over the hook. I skip the next stitch. Insert the hook into two loops, make half double crochet chain, yarn over the hook and half double crochet into the next two loops. I will alternate with two half double crochet and I skip the next stitch and then make half double crochet, chain and half double crochet. Let's repeat chain, yarn over the hook and half double crochet into the second two loops, one, chain and half double crochet into the next stitch, chain and half double crochet into the next two loops. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this row with me. I continue working on my motif. Once I have done all my half double crochet stitches, and now this is the last half double crochet, make a chain, insert the hook into the chain stitch, make a slip stitch and pull it. Then make a row of reverse single crochet, make a chain, pull it, and work into the chain space, make a reverse single crochet, then reverse single crochet into the stitch, reverse single crochet into the chain space, then reverse single crochet into the half double crochet and into the chain space. Insert the hook into the half double crochet, make reverse single crochet, stitch, insert the hook into the chain space, make reverse single crochet. Insert the hook into the stitch and insert the hook into the chain space. Here what I have at this point. Then I should keep working this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to complete it. I am about to complete this row. Once I have done a row of reverse single crochet trim, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet, then reverse single crochet into the stitch, continue, insert the hook between petals and stitch, Insert the hook from the back into the petal, take the working loop, pull it through. To secure the yarn by making a chain and pull it. So my motif is ready, here how it looks. And turn the work on the back side and you should remove a long piece of yarn along the stitches. And let's stop and look what I have done. Once I have done my project, here how it looks when I'm done. Let's look at my ready project. In this video you have seen how to crochet scramble motif made in freeform technique with 3D volume in the center. For this motif I used Puff stitches, different toll stitches, reverse single crochet two times. You can stop at any stage of the project and create your open and personal project 
using different colors of yarn, crochet hooks, additional tools such as beads. You can crochet two motifs or more and join them together to create a large piece of work. If you don't know how to join such motifs together, we have a huge playlist where you can see how you can join two or more motifs together to create a large piece of work. Also, you can use them in Irish or Gipura laces. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. Don't miss my new video tutorials every week. See you next time and bye!